Okay, the biggest thing is just like Taobao. I still have 500 birthday candles for when I accidentally put in the wrong units. And like, I ordered, I once ordered a pair of shoes and I, I, they came in the post and they were this big. They're baby shoes. obviously advisor yes and then I'm a member of the college council for the first two years here I was um, a member of the staff welfare committee a librarian I'm a TOK teacher I used to teach critical thinking but not anymore yeah and then just being a human on campus which I think is also a role Mm. Reader development, like kind of, I think kind of one of my roles is to just encourage love of reading and books. So I think that's an important one. And supporting students with academic integrity. I think those are my two big roles. I also teach, um, so I guess you know all that comes into being a teacher. But kind of academic integrity and reader development are kind of like where my heart is for this school. Community, exhausting and beauty because this campus is stunning and the view from behind my house is just beautiful and like I was just walking through campus just the other day and I was thinking I have to remember this I have to appreciate it because it's very rare that you're going to get the opportunity to live anywhere so beautiful and peaceful even with the fireworks even with the like dragon drums it's still very peaceful um, so that's beauty exhausting it's just it's very exhausting it's, I think you know as IB students how exhausting it is but it's also exhausting for teachers I think living residentially you're a lot more involved you're all um, you work longer hours um, so it's tiring but it's worth it oh yeah everything is a big culture shock Okay, the biggest thing is just like Taobao and like using um, my phone, but mostly kind of Taobao is like hugely challenging for me. I still have 500 birthday candles for when I accidentally put in the wrong units and like I ordered, I once ordered a pair of shoes and I, I, they came in the post and they were this big, they're baby shoes because I, you have to translate everything and to English and like sometimes you don't translate because you're lazy or you don't notice what you're doing so you buy baby shoes instead of grown-up shoes or 500 candles instead of 10 candles and yeah so that sort of thing was very challenging for me yeah the, I think mostly just in terms of culture shock just ch -ch -ch. <laughs> to the phone thing. I, I mean that's happened for a lot of teachers who aren't necessarily kind of Chinese mother tongue speakers or Chinese speakers. Um, we have Taobao mistakes and you know someone's like oh I bought 25 packets of pasta and this anyone <laughs> wants them. That's like really not uncommon. Challenge professionally um, all the time. Students are always asking me ridiculous things to say like how do I cite a crisp packet? You know that's often challenging me professionally and like uh, why um so yes and then ai um chat gpt i thought that's been kind of like an interesting professional challenge and just kind of being able to help students when they need it sometimes you ask for weird stuff so that's always a bit of a challenge My favourite place is just outside my home. So I don't have a balcony or a terrace um, or a back door. So I climb out the window. Usually with my cats, we've got a little step ladder. So we climb out the window and then just behind my house, um, we have like a little bit of a grassy area and then we have the lake. So um, I frequently, um, and definitely at weekends, will often climb out the window with my cats and we'll go and we'll sit and we'll watch the lake and it's lovely. Or occasionally have some friends around just outside again. I don't make them climb out the window, they can walk around, but just kind of enjoy that privacy. It feels a very private place and you have that beautiful view, you can see the water birds, it's just, it's just lovely. It's just a really lovely place to be. I grew up in a seaside town, like before that I lived on an island in the South Pacific, so of course there was the ocean, so we'd often kind of just go to the sea um, to chill and just kind of watch the waves and it really helps you feel great and then in Vietnam we have the Saigon River and here we have the lake so I feel kind of I've always been gravitated towards bodies of water there's something very peaceful about that and like often you can be more connected with nature that way as well 
Okay, I think UWC ness is kind of like having an open mind uh, mindedness, like just being open to different cultures and different experiences, and like willing to open yourself up to new ways of thinking and new ways of being. I started paddle boarding when I was here. I haven't done it for a while though, but I did really enjoy that. That was a really great experience, and I want to continue that. Um, in the future. So that was something new I did. I really pushed myself to try and be a little bit more social this year than I did in previous years. So kind of I try try to reach out more to other people, which kind of previously I'm I'm a librarian. I'm insular. So kind of it takes a lot for me to like realize actually no I need human connection. So kind of that's something I kind of push myself to do more of definitely kind of this year than in previous years. And I really kind of value that decision and I think kind of it's been very positive for me. Okay, yes, yeah, sometimes you're going to feel overwhelmed and that's okay. It's normal. Roll with it. Reach out for help if you want help. Reach out for support if you want support. It's new. It can be kind of, like you say, culture shock. Um, very different, very challenging, very exhausting. But you do have a community there you can lean on if you need support. Um, but also kind of recognize that if you do feel exhausted, if you do feel tired, kind of sometimes if you do feel overwhelmed, you're not alone. Other people have been there too and you will overcome these challenges. I'm going to take my cats to England and I'm going to introduce them to their human grandparents and their human aunties and let them have some time there. So I'm going to connect with family. It's been a long time. Um, I haven't been able to travel back home very much because of COVID. So I'm going to take some time to just reconnect with them. Hello. Hi. I'm being interviewed. Yes. I'm so special. Yes. Yes, behind the cameras. Yes. 